Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars, and in Chile, scientists did a weird experiment that was supposed to, supposedly made a chicken bone into a dinosaur bone. I kid you not. And scientists in Chile have figured out a way to resurrect prehistoric traits of dinosaurs. In a reverse ex evolution experiment, a researcher has manipulated the genes of modern chickens and to induce the legs of a dinosaur. Right. These ancestors of birds had once had tube-shaped fibula that stretched onto the ankle. Revolution, this transformed to become the short splinter-like fibula of birds today. That's your outer calf bone. Fibula's outer bone and lower leg, which has evolved in birds to be shorter than its neighbor, the tibia, and no longer connects to the ankle. In the embryonic stage has previously been known that birds first develop a tubular fibula like those seen in dinosaurs. As it develops, this bone becomes splinter-like and the tibia grows past it. To understand this transformation, Brazilian researcher... That's not going to happen. I'm just going to call him Jay. Reverse the evolutionary process. Apparently a Brazilian researcher in Chile or something. Normally shafts of the bone matures more quickly than in ceasing self-division first. But in experiments at the University of Chile in the lab of Alexander Vargas, Jay found that lower end of the bone was active early in development and then ceases cell division and growth. Now you're going to love this one. He turned off a maturation gene. You're going to love the name of maturation gene. I kid you not. To achieve the long dinosaur-like bone, the researcher inhibited a maturation gene called Indian and Hedgehog. Where on earth did they get a name for a gene like that? With this press, the kids may, chickens maintain their tubular fibula, which may remain long and connected to the ankle like a dinosaur. Researchers suggest that early maturation, which leads to sunny growth, of the fibula happens because of a nearby bone in the ankle called the calcineum. In birds, this bone presses against the lower end of the fibula, time even confusing researchers thinking they are one. The lower end of the fibula may receive signals similar to those of the shaft the researcher proposes. While calcium and the fibula eventually detach, in a typical scenario, two bones stayed together in dinosaur chickens. And the researcher says calcium strongly suppresses a PTHRP gene, which allows growth into the bones. In chickens with dinosaur-like like legs, the researchers, researchers found the tibia was much shorter than normal, suggesting that fibula ankle connection prevents neighboring bone from outgrowing the fibula. Researchers say, researchers say that findings are consistent with evolutionary patterns demonstrated in fossil records.
uh, excuse me, well, I've already pointed out, I can go on and on, I know enough about, uh, entomology and basic plant science to sit here, I could sit here all day and find reasons why unguided evolution is BS. I said unguided evolution. Now if you want to talk to me about somebody having uh, done something, changed things along the way, somebody's guiding us along, I can look, maybe live with that, maybe. But unguided evolution is a bunch of horse feathers. I have a little playlist, which I haven't had time to update. So, let me guess. They grew, uh, they claim to have grown dinosaur bone in the lab. Now, what they did was they mutated the chicken bone. Most modern birds have opposable thumb-like digits known as hallux, while them gra grasp perches to perch or to snatch up prey while they're in flight. Dinosaurs like T-Rex and Allosaurus, however, this toe was not opposable and too small to touch ground, much like dew claws of dogs and cats. Scientists at the University of Chile found a metatarsal bone that make up this toe and chicken's foot twist and it matures inside the egg. It didn't come out right. They discovered the twisting the metatarsal bone and chicken embryo coincided with when the birds began moving around inside the egg. Well, they're not using our tax dollars, so I don't really care. I think this is a meaningless experiment. That's my opinion. But whatever. They want, if they want to delude themselves and think the birds are really dinosaurs or something, go right ahead. Don't ask me to believe it. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.